you are interested in the Epson EcoTank printers, aren't you? Yes, you are. And you're wondering if they're worth the money because, frankly, they're a little bit more expensive than what we've been paying for printers for the past decade. Are they not? They are indeed. Let's take a look today at the Epson EcoTank printer series here on Dottotech. Steve Dotto here, how the heck are you doing this fine day? Today we're going to take a look at the Epson EcoTank printer and almost exactly one year ago today I purchased one. I went out and I bought myself that printer there that you see above Farley. It is the basic, the most basic level Epson EcoTank you can buy because at the end of the day I'm really just kind of cheap. Now I am a convert to the Epson EcoTank. Why am I a convert to the Epson EcoTank? Because my wife is a teacher and I used to have a laser printer and over the course of every year, I would buy two or three new laser cartridge toner refills because of the huge volume of printing that Shannon does. Drove me crazy. Of course, an inkjet printer would have been worse but in my research, I looked at the Epson EcoTank and I recognized that it has an amazing amount of prints that you can do from each tank. And I didn't actually believe it, but I was hopeful that it would indeed work that way. So I bought it. After one year, now I can't tell you how many pages because I haven't been counting the pages. Epson gives you all of the details. But after one year, we are still on our first tank. Now it's empty, it's ready to be refilled. As you can see here, we have used up the entire tank, but it printed for an entire year. Now recently, Epson flew me to New York. Full disclosure, they flew me to New York to show me their new line of printers, which I was happy to do because I like New York and I like Epson. And they just sent me this, a brand new Epson EcoTank printer. I didn't pay for this one, they gave it to me. I paid for the original. Now, why am I upgrading? Because this one here is still perfectly good. It, it The basic level didn't have one feature that Shannon really wanted, which is double-sided printing. So when Epson offered me the new printer, I jumped at the opportunity and here it is. So let's, you and I today, take a look at setting up the Epson EcoTank. And while we're doing that, I'll tell you the details and you can decide for yourself whether or not it's a printer that might work well for you. Now, if the concept of the EcoTank is new to you, allow me to explain and then we will set up the printer. EcoTanks are Epson's initiative that replaces traditional toner cartridges on laser printers or inkjet cartridges with a tank that is refillable and you purchase just ink as it came in this bottle and you refill the ink tank with these cartridges. Now the printer itself costs more, but you get, as they say in their marketing, a ridiculous amount of ink as is my own personal experience. One year's worth of ink was one of these bottles. And they say for the average user, consumer, it's actually about two years of ink in these bottles. So to put it into perspective, I would go through three or four toner cartridges in a laser printer and the amount of ink that goes into one of these eco cartridges or eco tanks. And Epson says on their website that one set of replacement bottles of eco tank ink replaces 80 traditional inkjet cartridges. That's 80 less cartridges going into the landfill. That's a huge savings in dollars and cents because you purchase a single, well, how much ink did we use in, in, in one year? How much did it cost me to buy? Let me jump over to Amazon here. Yeah, here we are. One of these uh, cartridges, one of these bottles cost me $22.99 from Amazon. Uh, that's Canadian dollars. So in the States, what is that? 17, 16, 50, 17 dollars is the cost of a cartridge roughly. That replaced in this particular case, 20 cartridges, 20 black cartridges, roughly, if we look at one on the math of one of four. So that tells us how much money we save. Now, we do pay more for the printer. This printer that Epson has sent me, which we will now set up, is about $400 Canadian. So it's a, it's a far more expensive printer than a traditional inkjet printer. The quality, as far as I can tell, is just as good, but the cost savings, 
and the environmental impact savings. To me, the reason that I originally purchased the my first Epson EcoTank printer was because of the environmental responsibility and the fact that it just drove me crazy buying cartridge after cartridge after cartridge. So it's long-term economically beneficial, but long-term environmentally beneficial as well. So here's, here's the printer. Let's set it up for you. Now, I've set up a lot of printers in my life. Back in the TV show days, every season we would do multiple printers, and setting up this Epson EcoTank was pretty much the same as setting up every printer you've ever set up. Once you've cleared away all of the different packing tape and all of the different little bits of styrofoam, which actually I will give Epson credit. There wasn't an awful lot of packaging in this particular box. Uh, you then check your quick start guide and you go through and set up the printer. Now, it was a lot of fun actually setting up the EcoTank because the coolest thing is inserting the bottles into the individual tanks. Now you might worry that it's gonna be a bit of a messy process, but it isn't. You simply open each of the caps, drop the tank on top, drop the refill tank on top, and the tank burble and the uh, ink burbles itself into the tank. Uh, not a single drop was went uh, awry, so it was a no mess, no fuss fill up. And I love the fact that you can physically see, without going into any software, you can see just by looking at the front of your printer how much ink you have left. That to me is a terrific additional feature. So what do you get when you purchase an Epson EcoTank? What is a, the overall printer experience like? Well, having set up as many printers as I have, I have to say that the Epson EcoTank is a good printer. It does a great job on office documents. If you put in coded stock, it does a very nice job on photos. It has, of course, a built-in scanner. If you still want to use a flatbed scanner, it's built in and you can access it and use the scanner as you choose. Of course, when you look at the features on the website, the main features, the main benefits of this printer are always going to be relating to the economy, how much, how little it costs to operate and how much you save both yourself and the environment. Uh, so most of the main features is two years of ink, 90% less ink and cost cutting, etc. cetera. Uh, but it's also a very convenient printer to set up. Once you set up on the wireless network, it's very easy to set it up to print from your smartphones or any computers. So guests or others can add on and be able to print from the printer at any point quite effortlessly. This model has a built-in SD card slot so you can print directly should you choose to from a camera's SD card. But I think that those sort of features are really slipping into the background now as so many of us now take pictures on our smartphone. So things like smartphone printing become a lot more important an asset than does be able to print from a SD card from your camera. And setting up the, uh, the Epson uh, eco tanks with smartphones and tablets is is very simple now that they're on the Wi-Fi network printing from any device is very easy you know back when I used to do the TV show we did so many demos on printers over the years and the printers were in an arms race always trying to get smaller more precise dots more precise printing better color representation more color fastness uh, just basically they, they they were continuously leapfrogging each one in another Epson Canon HP Lexmark they were all in this arms race to make their printers better they have all reached a level of outstanding quality. The value you get and the quality you get from your prints these days is spectacular. So now we turn our eyes to some more sophisticated needs for a printer. Uh, the cost per copy, the environmental impact of those printers, with the knowledge that any printer that we get today is going to do a great job on both office documents and photos. I made the personal choice over a year ago to buy the Epson EcoTank. I can't tell you for sure that it's better than the competitors' similar products. What I can tell you is it met every goal that I had for it, it exceeded my expectations, and it made me feel that I had made an intelligent, responsible purchase. I'm sure if you take a look at the Epson EcoTanks and you choose to buy one, you will feel the same as I once you have completed that journey. I will have links below. They will be Amazon links if you choose to purchase on Amazon. So please know that they will be Amazon affiliate links that are linked below. I look forward to your comments, feedback, suggestions. Do you use other printers? Have you bought into the EcoTank system? What do you think of it? Has it worked out for you as well as it worked out for me? Looking forward to seeing your feedback and comments. Till next time, I am Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.